excited to be in church? Are you sure you are really excited to be in church? Praise God. Today, your returns must drop. If you are saying amen, say better amen. He opened his hand wide and satisfied the desire of every living thing. And I have one understanding. I'm more than a living thing. I am the choosing of the Lord. Scripture says, Blessed is the man whom thou choosest and causeth to approach unto thy throne. You are more than a living thing. So if you say you open it, design, why and satisfy a living, living thing, those make us their living thing. But you are more than a living thing. So anything you are due for must drop today. Yeah. We're going to lift up our voice and thank God who has never failed. In all ramification, in every aspect of our life, God has been faithful. He has been merciful. He has been kind. He has been good to us. He has not withhold anything we are due for. Let's lift up our voice and say, Father, we return glory. We return thanks. We return adoration to you, the faithful one, the dependable God, the reliable God, the one whose word never fails. I say thank you. I bless your name. I give you all the glory. Jesus, I say thank you. Glory be to your holy name. For what you are set to do in our lives. I return praise to you. My faithful God. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Today, every network of forces on assignment to stop your blessing from coming, they will be humiliated by God. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Whoever is sitting tight on your blessing, they will be unseated today in the name of Jesus. Say amen like a believer. Today, God will force your enemy to surrender. Today, the earth will permit your blessing. Today, the earth will permit your riches. Every treasure that you are due for, it will be surrendered to you in the name of Jesus. Say amen like a believer. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. It is done. Put those hands together for the Lord and please get seated. God bless you. Praise God. Let me recap on some of the highlights on the announcements very quickly. Like was announced last week, and thank God, it's flashing again officially so that somebody will say, this pastor today they overdo. Special prayer session. This one is now from Ken and from Kenan Land. A daily Shiloh prayer session shall be held from Monday, November 27, to Friday 1st, December 1st, 2017, with a three-day prayer and fasting commencing from Wednesday. So for those with their stomach, they worry. They can start on Wednesday. Praise God. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Like we announced, we said we should do it from um, morning till um, uh, one o'clock. Uh, if you can't do, at least you can do till 12. And uh, drink your malt and eat your biscuit. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> but by all means, we just have to wait on the Lord. If you are expecting something you have never seen before, you are expected to do what you have never done before. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? 
Uh, so that's the reason for this fast. It's not uh, designed to pressure you. Uh, uh, le let me say this. Pressure is needed before you enter pleasure. People that are dodging pressure, that's why their life is hard. I tell you the truth. Just like Papa said, he said, this Shiloh, it has never been of its kind before. Something amazing is about to take place. So spiritual positioning is very, very important. And that's why we are embarking on this fast. It's not going to kill you. It's only going to help your life look more better. I say it's going to help your life look more better. In Jesus' mighty name. So from Wednesday, the Shiloh expectation cards will be given to all. Don't rush to write. As you are praying in the course of the fast, the Holy Ghost will be telling you what to request. Are you know what I'm saying now? I experienced this in um, um, the fast of Shiloh 2015. Something I've never written before. When I was even writing it, my hand was shaking. I don't know where it was going to come from, north, south, east, and west. But God has brought it to pass. I said, God has brought it to pass. So, you prayerfully package your expectation because the God of Shiloh must meet with you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And on Saturday, we are not going out for evangelism in the morning. We are only going to be here for the family um, showers of blessing. And after which we'll go back. The rally is going to take place by what time? We are supposed to go out for Shiloh rally. Shiloh mass rally. Every person that has car in this church, bring your car. Because your car must burn another one. Oh, you didn't say amen. amen. If your own is Kekena Pep, bring your Kekena Pep. If your own is Okada, bring your Okada. If your own is Legedis, come with your Legedis. Because it's a new dawn for you. Watch out. Very soon we will have packing problem. I'm the one saying it. Some years back in Rifi, they were saying uh, they don't have plenty of cars, everybody can park here. But at a point, I had to go and collect permission from government to be blocking road. A block front road, block back road. You go see what thing will happen. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Yeah. So, Saturday by 4, 3.30. By 3.30, By 3.30, we'll be going for Shiloh Mass Rally. So everyone is expected, including me talking to you, I'll be there in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, I'd like us to, for those of us, every married man and intending um, single, 31 type of person you should never marry. You must get this book. Before somebody will come Jaguda, carry you. Are you around saying that? This marriage must not break. And one of our pastors in town, who is a very good friend of this ministry, wrote a book, Seeing You at the Top. So make sure you get a copy of this book. And in preparation for Shiloh, you need this book. The unlimited power of faith. Hear me? If you go Shiloh as if you're going for a carnival, you will come back like one that went for a carnival. You go and be buying a souvenir. Please go to Shiloh like one that is preparing for an encounter. And things will happen in your life. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Two major books you must not miss. The unlimited power of faith. And... Um, um, the release of power. Please, make sure you sit tight. You, you must give your destiny and encounter this Shiloh. And something must happen for you. In Jesus' mighty name. We still have some copies of the Unlimited Power of Praise. 
make sure you get your own copy and get set for God's blessing in Jesus' name. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. Your praise and your supernatural returns. Your praise and your returns. Put it that way. Your praise and your returns. May that for no catch virus. Your praise and your returns. We read in the call to worship Psalm 67. Studio, please. Psalm 67. God, be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us that thy way may be known upon the earth thy saving health among all nations let the people praise thee O God let all the people praise thee O let the nations be glad and sing for joy for thou shall judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon the earth. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield an increase. And God, even our God, shall bless us. God shall bless us and all the ends of the earth shall do what? In case you have your Bible, go with me again to Job 20. Job 20. Verse 15. He had swallowed down riches. And he shall vomit them up again. God shall cast them. So every of your riches will be vomited today. Yeah. There is a spiritual connection between our praise and our returns. And one thing I will be quick to let us know this morning Praise puts pressure on the earth. Praise puts the earth under pressure to release your supply. It is impossible for the earth to withhold the returns, the supply, the dues of anyone that is an addicted praiser. So no force on the earth is permitted. Say with me, no force. no force. On the earth is permitted to withhold what you are due for. What belongs to you. No force. Even if there is a force, praise is a stronger force. So praise provokes the blessings of God locked up on the earth to be released in your favor. He has swallowed up riches. Now hear me, the earth has swallowed plenty things. So. I say the earth has swallowed plenty things. But they will be vomiting them one by one. Yeah. When we talk about the earth, there are three things we must consider. The people on the earth. The people on the earth. There are people God will just bring your way and they look as if where have you been? Two of us. Where have you been? The earth has been holding them. But everyone connected to the blessing your life requires. As we begin to praise now, there will be a divine connectivity. The earth can withhold good people from reaching you. The earth can withhold people connected to your breakthrough from locating you. There are some people, the only thing the earth is releasing for them is bad, bad people. 
Check your life. How many good people have come to you? Check your life. How many persons have shown you favor? Check your life, the people that have been meeting you. Check what they have been adding to you. You will know that uh, something is wrong somewhere. If you are spiritually smart and spiritually sound, there are people you must avoid. Well, the nature said there are people you must miss if you must not miss good and miss God. There are people you must miss if you must not miss good and miss God. And he said again, there are people you must meet if you must see good and see God. Oh, Isaiah said, the day that King Uzziah died, Isaiah saw the Lord. I like the way Mike Mudok puts it. When the right people appear in your life at the right time, at the right place, you will have the right experience. Right people, right time, right experience. People play two major roles. Influence. The first role people play in your life is influence. If they are not influencing you positively, motivating you positively, activating you for progress, it will be on the other side. Check people that are coming into your life. One right person appearing into your life now, boom, the destiny experience a push. One wrong person appearing in your life now, you begin to think like a witchcraft. Yes. When wrong people appear in your life, that's what they do. You begin to think, think like a witchcraft. You begin to think like a herbalist. It's true. Because they open up your life to the evil that they want you to experience. They open up your life to evil. Your perception evil. Your thoughts evil. Everything about you is circumferenced by evil. The earth is responsible. But when praise goes forth, praise change tides. Praise generates a supernatural force powered by the Spirit of God. He said, Then shall the earth bless us. So blessings are locked up on the earth. And the first thing the earth must release is your good people. There are people that are assigned to you in destiny. There are people you must meet in life and in destiny. So the earth has one major assignment to release them, but on the condition of your praise. The earth here also refers to systems, governments, organizations. Daniel was in Babylon. His relevance never faded. Never faded. Daniel was relevant for 64 years. You know, in Nigeria, it's uh, eight years. Two term. They are only 16. 16, 16, 16, 16. So he was relevant for 64 years. 
No big joke with that to you. It's like he was permanently living in Asu Rock. When you become a praiser, <laughs> places begin to call you. Places begin to look for you. Others are looking for places. Places are looking for some people. I remember one man, one of my very close friends, his name is Mr. Moses. He's from Delta. Others go to Shell to look for a job. Shell sends people to him to bid for a job. He'll tell him, we have a job in Gabon. Come and bid for it. We don't want to, any other person to go for that job. We have a job in Austria. Come and go for it. We have a job in Benin Republic. Come and go for it. I remember one time, Akwaibon State gave him a contract of uh, three billion. When they gave him that job of three billion, they now begin to send him names of a uh, local government chairman that is going to send us some money. Because they say, come, 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 come. Come. I know they for this mess. Oh. I never do this type before. You allow me to do my job. I determine who I appreciate. If you think you can use this job to tie me, take your thing and give me back my papers. Are you hearing me? I'm not begging for your job. Oh boy. They leave him alone. Oh. When you know your worth, people respect you. They left him alone. Oh. He finished the job. He now decided. He said, if this is how you are doing it, don't give me again. The one I'm doing is good. And the Mumu people, they still come and call him again. <laughs> it, it, he doesn't look for job. People are looking for him. They look for him. Come and do this one. Come and do this one. As at that time, you call me. You say, do you know anything about this? Food? Should I go? I said, I don't know them except I will check and find out. If it's the one that my face does, my, my mind does not agree. I said, wait first. Let's um, browse them. We'll browse them spiritually, browse them physically. <laughs> it's as serious as that. When the earth open up to you, doors of good places, Scripture says, thy gate shall be open continually. <laughs> Praise cause doors, gates of good places, goodly opportunities, begin to open up for you. You won't miss it again. Yeah. What is in the earth again? The enemies and his agents. Then shall the earth yield forth an increase. So the enemy cannot withhold what has been ordained, what has been destined. Scripture says, when a man's way pleases the Lord, he maketh his enemies to be at peace with him. Are you know what I'm saying now? You may not like my face, but can you stop my blessing? Even if they have told you bad news about me, the bad news is winching you. It's not winching me. I'm still getting blessed. My heavens are still open. Now your own nine close. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? <laughs> no devil can stop what God has ordained. You see in the Bible? Should I show you? Isaiah 14, verse 24. The way some people are looking at me as if they are angry. <laughs> the Lord of hosts has sworn. Say, surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. As I have proposed, so shall it stand. Verse 27. 27. For the Lord of hosts has proposed... And who shall disannul? His hand is stretched out. And who shall turn it back? Who shall turn it back? Who shall turn it back? Let me share one testimony that the Holy Ghost just flashed in my mind now. 
The sister has been believing God for the fruit of the womb. And then she had one mother-in-law. Terrible. Was mirroring the thing every time. Was puncturing the pregnancy. Like I said before, witches are not omnipresent. They are omnilimited. <laughs> what they have is monitoring spirits. As we are in the church now, they look for people that are close to you to be monitoring things that are going on around you. They don't have information. So, funny enough, they were in a distant place. She became pregnant. At that point in time, Amiro needed to see again. The pregnancy was growing, 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 growing. She delivered. They didn't tell her. Month one, they didn't tell her. Month two, they didn't tell her. Month three, child dedication. Mama, I deliver though. Eh? When? We are going for dedication on Sunday. Me? You mean you don't, you don't born? God will disappoint everyone monitoring you. You mean you don't born? Say you want God dedication, you don't born. So now not tell me. We didn't say you sabi. <laughs> Meaning Amiru don't fail. Whatever device they are using to monitor you. They will fail. They will fail. They will fail. She now called the son. You mean your wife delivered? You didn't tell me. What do we need to tell you? Were you happy in the first place? God has disgraced you. The son told her. Your enemy is omnilimited. They are not omnipresent. Thou prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. When God gives you a blessing, he preserves the blessing. So praise generates enough spiritual force to force the earth to vomit the blessing. Do you know that praise is a spiritual tranquilizer? What do I call a tranquilizer? It's a neutralizer of enchantments. It's a neutralizer of manipulation. It's a neutralizer of sorcery. So whatever has been cooked up to stop the plan and purpose of God for your life, as you give God a dance. Oh my God. Scripture said when Jehoshaphat was instructed, hold thy peace. The Lord thy God shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. I say, the only thing you do, raise Levites for me. Let them begin to sing and give glory to God. As they began to sing and praise God, scripture says, God set ambushments. Do you know what is ambushment? Ambushment is as you are driving on the road now, people don't wait for you. So God set ambushment against them and when they came, they began to fight themselves. They began to kill themselves as they were fighting. The last person, after he has finished killing the other one, I said, Namiri, man, okay, that guy, Chuku. <laughs> hear me and hear me well. There will be confusion in the camp of your enemies. <laughs> Whatever decision that was taken by the wicked to stop you and stop the blessing, that, that, that cancer will be disappointed. <laughs> Their manipulation will scatter. If you are saying amen, say better. Amen. amen. Praise is a mystery. It's not just music. It's not entertainment. Then shall the earth yield forth her increase. Let the people pray. When you praise God, He dissolves the divination. He dissolves the enchantments. 
So whatever has been fired against you is going back right now. So the absence of your praise can withhold your blessing. So when you are withholding your praise, you are withholding your blessing. If it's hard for you to praise God, then it will be hard for God to bless you. In fact, the earth will become more hard for you. The earth. <laughs> oh, look at that scripture. This commandment is to you, O ye priests. If you will not lay it to heart to give glory unto my name, he said, I will curse your blessing. Yay! I've cursed them already. When your blessings are cursed, you are cursed. Whatever makes your blessing to be cursed brings you under a curse. For you to be brought under a curse means that you will be walking in hardship. The earth will burn like oven for you. The earth will make things to be difficult for you. The earth can even tie you rope. But when you give God praise, he eliminates the curse and he releases the blessing. So praise delivers power. Say with me, power. From on high to put blessing in your hand. Then shall the earth. So the earth is under an instruction. Maybe you don't know. If you forget anything, don't forget this one. The earth is under an instruction. The one that prays, release. The one that doesn't pray, withhold. Then shall the earth yield. Yield means open your hands, surrender everything. Then shall the earth yield forth. I increase. And God, even our God, shall do what? Bless us. He said, God shall bless us and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. So fearful things are about to take place in somebody's life. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Stop being a struggler. God is not wicked. I said, God is not wicked. Amen. Scripture says, he opened his hand wide and satisfied the desire of every living thing. One sure way to eliminate your struggle is to praise the God that giveth all things. All things. All things. So. Scripture says, Every good and perfect gift cometh from above, from the Father of light, in whom there is no variableness, neither any shadow of turning. What is variableness? I prefer this one. I don't like this one. I like your face. I don't like your face. No, not with God. Not with God. No variableness. Neither does he even consult. He doesn't consult. If God were to be consulting members in the church to determine whom who will be blessed, some of you here will have suffered. You agree with me? Because there are some people who seated now, the only thing they are bad news. You don't hear? See the WhatsApp. See the WhatsApp. Thank God he does not put anybody's blessing in anybody's hand. Make sure you don't give him more. Pastor, now we know him. Pastor, I can tell you his life is true. That was how they almost uh, did to Papa. So they said no man of bad news about uh, Idahosa. God told him, go and meet my servant. Go and meet my servant. He said, no. For all the things I've been hearing about it, and God now asked him one question. Do you know him more than me? Some of the people you are receiving bad news about, <laughs> do you know them more than God? I want to let you know, take your eyes off people. I, what did I say? The psalmist said, I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. From where comes my help? My help cometh from the Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. If your help is coming from God, you can't be stranded. I said, you can't be stranded. You have been looking up onto men and they are disappointing you the more. Change your focus and begin to look up to God. Scripture said, they that put their trust in the Lord shall not be ashamed. You have been trusting men. No wonder shame is coming for you more. (laughs) 
So praise is your only guarantee. You see this earth? Now hear me. The people connected to your blessing, they are not walking on the air. They are like they touch this ground. And as you are praising God, God will put them under what we call divine urgency. Hey. They will be urgent to release the blessing. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Remember I told you to come with 1,000. If you like, no bring now your choice. I bring my own two. One for left hand, one for right hand. <laughs> I know the mystery more than you, so I'm the one to teach you. Are you around saying now? He has swallowed up riches, but God shall cast it out of his belly. But who? But God. Meaning, whoever. You know, there are some people that have used diabolical means. You give them a handshake, they tie you with bad luck. Oh, don't worry. When we start 21 days, now that time I'm going to go see something. We are doing preliminaries now. I remember my other brother when God blessed him when he entered the realm of millions. So he started buying a, you know, Having a good heart is not a problem. But be careful who you give your gift. Started buying rice, buy tomato, buy this one, you know, put money inside, started sharing, give this neighbor, give this neighbor. So I went somewhere. I think I went to see, I went to my grandmother's place. I was coming back. So I was coming through one small part road. So I, I and I was coming very quietly, not that I was uh, kicking the bush, I was... I was like, eh? So, Ugochuku don't get money, speaking in our language, to the point that it's not coming to be distributing for us, eh? Okay. So, while she was talking, I just appeared. I just greeted her. He said, eh! Hey. <laughs> eh! Hey. I tell you something. People are wicked. <laughs> That's why T date. Before I give anybody money, La rushie keto zazalera. I koto la prekete. I know they play with anybody. Oh. Are you hearing me now? Before you carry my money, go have a list. So the, let me put something so that as you go, the thing kill you. La kosha. When, I, if I, when I'm going to travel now, any money that we use for anything. I will put anointing on all of them. Labro Soto, e Jose Zosia. Money, you are only going as a blessing. Whoever wants to use you against me, key the person. That's all be my own. I know you don't like it, but I like it. <laughs> Some people that are poor today. Is the good way they showed. They can even send small children to come and collect it from you. When you give it to the children and ask, yes, we don't get her. They now carry your money to altar and begin to shoot arrow for you. That's how some people's business went down. I'm the one talking. Some, my dad, his business went down. You, Pierre. Yeah. For not the whole money my dad gave to him to start, the was going down. Go in there. Go in there. I told him, cool down. I know what happened to you. Do you believe this prophet? He said, yes. He said, I will raise you. That's why I said you should bring 1,000. This is the highest denomination in Nigerian currency. So as we are praising God now, this money is prophetic. Anywhere the earth, any man on the earth that has swallowed up your riches, they will vomit it. Yeah. And you know where you are now is an altar. Yeah. Altar past altar. Yeah. Whichever altar they consulted to swallow what belonged to you, it's time for them to vomit it. Yeah. 
you better say amen like someone that is saw. Anywhere your money is, is coming back. It's returning a thousand fold. It's coming back a thousand fold. Rise up to your feet. So my money here is representing your own. Put your own on the ground. If you don't have 1,000, don't go and say this pastor wicked. Oh. Anything you have, put it on the ground. <laughs> Angels will have mercy on you. <laughs> Praise God. First of all, lift up your voice and thank God you are not a liar. You are faithful to your word, faithful to your promise. You are faithful to your word. You said through the mouth of your servant and your servant has never lied for you before that this month is our month of returns. Father, as we praise you, as we dance to the glory of your name, cause every blessing, every riches, which the earth has swallowed to be surrendered. Narodo suke etaya mendo zuse jekutelia brekleke zuzane rekle u satela pa eodo si kata jetanandre ikotoli operata. I thank you because. The favor of 430 years is flowing back. The reward, the blessings, the increase is returning back. The supply is coming back. The blessing is flowing back. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. All eyes closed, all eyes bow. If you are here, you are not born again. This is your awesome opportunity to connect and tap into this blessing. Jesus said, Behold, I stand at the door of your heart and knock. If any man open, I will come and live with him. Put your right hand on your chest if you are not born again and you want to make it right with Jesus. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I come unto you today. I know that I'm a sinner. Forgive me with your precious blood. I reject sin. I reject Satan. Come into my life. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. If you pray that prayer with me, God bless you. Come quickly. I want to pray with you. I want to pray with you and lay hands on you. If you are coming, come now. Your story must change in this service. God bless you. Put those hands together for Jesus. Please give me the oil. Give me the oil. If you are coming, come quickly. God bless you. If you are joining them, come. Come. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for taking that bold step. If you are coming, come quickly. God bless you. Put your hands together for Jesus. Defy the devil and disgrace him. Defy the devil and disgrace him. Labo shekete la baranda. Reso seklekete. Lord Jesus, unto them that come unto you shall you know I cast out. They have accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and as their Savior. And I stand this morning decree that the guilt of their past they are rolled away. Every cause, every accusation of the wicked over your life, they are destroyed. In Jesus' name I pray. Put your hands together for Jesus. Follow this man. Please attend to them quick and let them join us now. Are we ready to praise? Are you sure you are ready? You have 10 minutes to fire this praise. The earth will be permitting the blessing. I said the earth will be permitting your blessing. The earth will be releasing your treasures. Whatever belongs to you that has been tied down, it is time for your returns. You are not saying amen like someone that believes. Hallelujah. I hope we are putting our dances on. Hallelujah. One, two, three, go. Ime, 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 
Ilo ba ibi ma ibi ibola. 